All right, good evening. Uh, it's just a little bit after my normal start time. Apologies for the 10 minute delay. Had some toddler issues trying to get my son to go down uh, for sleep tonight. He guys had a busy day and was not wanting to go to bed. So that took a little bit of extra time, but we are up and running now and he is in bed now. So hopefully, knock on wood, uh, everything is fine. Um, with that being said, tonight is the final night of Breakers Club number two. Um, it's been a fun ride. I hope everyone's enjoying uh, the, the process. Uh, hopefully you've all gotten a lot of good cards, a lot of cards you wanted. Um, I can guarantee you all got a lot of cards because I've been sorting them feverishly, and there are huge stacks of cards over on my card sorting table, and those stacks are only going to get larger because tonight we have not one, not two, but three boxes to open up and finish off our uh, breakers club we've also got our final six packs out of i guess you could say the fourth box that being that um, box of victory and i have a few bonus packs that i'll be throwing in as well so we've got lots to get through um i will say this as well because i like to i like to make things a little bit interesting um, I do plan on doing Breakers Club number three. Sign-ups are not going to go up tonight, um, that's for sure, because I don't have them ready yet. Um, but they will hopefully go up within a week, let's say. Uh, this is my final week, basically, of uh, the semester of teaching. So uh, probably uh, may, maybe it'll be sometime next week. But within, like let's say, seven to ten days, I should have the next Breakers Club sign-up post ready. And more importantly for you tonight, I'm going to give you a preview of uh, a couple of extra boxes that will be included, plus the ones that I showed off last time. So we will uh, we will show uh, a couple of highlights, and I'll let you know um, at least a, a preview of some of the boxes, and then hopefully we can sell all the slots out of the next Breakers Club. Uh, we almost sold them all out this time, and of course, as I sell more and more slots, I just keep adding boxes for everybody. So we ended up with like I forget now twelve or twelve boxes, I think, in this Breakers Club. So hopefully, hopefully, good times. So I want to welcome everyone that's in the chat so far: David, Jordan, Andrew. I certainly appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I'm glad you've enjoyed the uh, the process. Yeah, a lot of victory cards for sure. Um, I do try to, like I said before, I try to find some boxes that are just going to give us, you know, sheer quantities of cards uh, for all teams because let's face it some sets you know some teams um, are less less represented um, so I think it's important to have some that you know are a little bit more quote-unquote fair to all teams um, and also as a Reds fan I'm I'm quite used to my team being the one that gets shortchanged in sets so um, yeah that's probably why I do that um, I will like I said I will get a post up um, soon-ish within a week Ideally, maybe sooner. I don't know. That's a busy, busy final week for me with the end of the semester um, here. But uh, rest assured, Breakers Club number three will happen. I've already got, uh, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven of the boxes in hand. I have a bunch more that I'm actually waiting for to be uh, delivered in some cases because they were pre-orders and they're not out quite yet. But one has already been shipped, so I should have it uh, hopefully tomorrow. So with that said, let's not waste any more time. Uh, I want to jump right into the packs. So uh, we've got all the stuff I said, plus I figured let's close it out on a bang. So I've got three bonus packs. We've got a pack of 2020 um, sticker, top stickers. These are probably going to have multiple players on them, so they'll just get randomized. Um, we've got a pack of Dunruss Major League All-Star pop-up puzzle and cards. I don't know much. I think I've opened a pack of these for like another group break at some point. I don't really remember, um, but... I don't even know what year they were. 1987. 1987, maybe? Com commemorates the 87 Superstar. So it's either 87 or 88 that this was actually produced. And then from um, Rod Richards, one more of the Holiday Inn packs. These were kind of fun. Um, and I want to thank Rod once again for providing some of the bonus packs for this uh, group break. So with that said, let's jump right in and let's start with, let's start with the Holiday Inn, shall we? David, I'm glad to hear you're already interested in the next one without me even showing off all the boxes. Certainly appreciate that. The, uh, the Breakers Club is admittedly a lot of work, especially the recap posts and scanning and sorting, but I do enjoy it. So, And hopefully it's a nice way for everyone to get lots of cards, especially in a time where it's really hard to find cards. So 
with that said, uh, every pack of Holiday Inn comes with a Cal Ripken. Uh, here we've got the Pillow Menu. At first I read that as Pillow Man, and that has a different connotation these days. We've got, for the D-backs, Randy Johnson. And for the Blue Jays, Roy Halladay. And for the Dodgers, Jeff Kent. So there's your... That's what the backs of those look like. They're very nice, actually. I was We've opened a couple of these now, and I was super impressed by the... I mean, it's it's not a fancy design or anything, but I mean, for a, what was a, apparently a giveaway at, you know, Holiday Inn, they're very nice cards. All right, let's do, I don't know, let's just do them in order. So let's do the pop-up pack next. Don't even know where I got this from. It's been sitting around for a while. So we get a puzzle of Stan Musial. I guess you can see his hat there. I'll go in the Cardinals pile. We've got a pop-up of Mike Schmidt for the Phillies. And the back shows you sort of the directions, such as they are. And then we've got some 88 Donruss Sid Fernandez. These are like, that's what the backs look like. I feel like I've seen these backs somewhere and I didn't know what the set was maybe. So now we know. Um, so for that's for the Mets, Tony Fernandez. Pretty nice all-star cards, actually. Jack Morris for Detroit. Bo Diaz for the Reds. And Jay Howell for the Athletics. And our 2020 sticker. These came, I'm pretty sure, from a David Adams free pack thing. We've got 200 homers and 200 stolen bases in the 2010s. Angels Mike Trout on the back. Chris Paddock for the Padres. I have the Angels in the uh, this group break. No one bought them, so I will just say that this will go in the Padres pile. Uh, Reese Hoskins for the Phillies on the front and on the back, David Price. So that will get randomized between those two teams. Shinsu Chu for the Rangers and Brandon Nimmo for the Mets. So that will get randomized. I do wish the cards had the same team on front and back, but they are what they are. And Jameson Talon for the Pirates, and Marcus Semien for the Athletics. So the other three, other three, yeah, the other three, those will get randomized. That one will go in the Padres pile, which is fitting because Rod has the Padres, and so he can win a quote-unquote coin flip without even having a coin flip. And David's gonna pop that. You'll have to post a picture of it, uh, David, when you get the uh, cards, whenever that, whenever you request shipping. Oh, post a uh, post a picture in the. Uh, in the Facebook page. All right. Next up, our uh, final six packs of the never-ending box of 2000 Victory. It's a nice set, but we've we've seen a lot of it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully everyone gets a team set out of it. I don't know. Definitely some duplicates, that's for sure. So, anyways, here we go. Jeff Supon for the Royals. Big Mac. Uh, Mark McGuire for the Cardinals. Also for the Cardinals, David Veras. I do like that there's a lot of players in this set that, you know, they don't really get a lot of cards. Alex Gonzalez for the Marlins. Uh, Matt Stairs for the Athletics. I like the dugout shot there. JT Snow, Giants. Jeffrey Hammonds for the Reds. Mark Quinn, rookie for the Royals. Glenn Allen Hill for the Cubs, Justin Thompson Rangers, Jock Jones for the Twins. Boy, he was good for a little while there. Heck of a fielder, too, as I recall. There's our one per Pat Griffey. The Mariners made up nicely in this box with uh, should be over 36 Griffeys because you get one per pack, and I think we pulled some Griffey base cards, too. Big Mac, Ad Card, and Babe Ruth game used Red Sox bat. We've seen enough of those Ad Cards at this point. Next up, we have Johnny Damon for the Royals. Big play, Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. Also for the Cubs, also Sammy Sosa, along with Mark Grace, a stats leader. For the Reds, Dante Bichette. Even though he's features a Rocky. Team listed, Cincinnati. Ed Yarnell, Yankee rookie. Darren Fletcher, Blue Jays. Aravio Durazo, uh, Diamondbacks. 
Sterling Hitchcock, the Padres. Pitcher batting. I see that a lot uh, on cards, at least. Ryan Christensen, Athletics. And a nice Derek Jeter for the Yankees. Yankees, as usual, make out pretty well in group breaks like this. Debbie Cruz for the Detroit. There's our one per pack Griffey, a very young Griffey looking there. There's a Big Mac and a Giants one Marshall. We've got, uh, like I said, two of the three boxes tonight are more probably at least somewhat relic slash hit based, the piece of the game and the Dunra Studio. And then we've got a box of just lots of more cards for everybody with the 2021 opening day. So everyone's stack should grow nicely tonight, which is kind of why I saved these three boxes for last. A lighter for the Mets. The Detroit Tigers get Palmer and Encarnacion stat later. These are bricked up a little bit more than some of the other packs have been. They don't stick together, really. They're just hard to separate. Preston Wilson, Marlins. Rockies, Helton, and Larry Walker, stat leader. Uh, Kevin Barker, rookie for the Brewers. It's a name I don't remember. Vinny Castillo for the Rays. Rondell White, Expos. Nomar Garcia Parra, Red Sox. Big play of A-Rod for the Mariners. Big play of Guerrero, Vlad Guerrero Sr. now for the Expos. Shane Reynolds, Astros. And there's our Griffey. Looks like an all-star game. Big Mac and an A's jersey. Almost, almost through victory. I thought about just saying, you know what, trust me, I'll just open the packs and sort them. But we should do it on video. So here we go. Chris Widger, at least sometimes we get a cool looking card. That was a nice one. Jason Ryan for the Twins, Roger Clemens, Yankees, Carlos Delgado, Blue Jays, Roy Halladay, Blue Jays, Jerry Harrison Jr., Orioles, Eric Milton, Twins, another pitcher batting card on that Milton, and it's an AL pitcher, Magli Ordonez, White Sox, Jose Lima, Astros, Alex Ochoa, Brewers, Brian Giles, Pirates, and there's our one for Pat Griffey, Big Mac, Babe Ruth, final appearance bat. So while we get to these last couple of packs, um, I would love if you're watching live, um, certainly leave a, a note in the comments. Or if you're watching this after the fact, uh, maybe maybe leave a comment on the Facebook page or even just send me an email if you'd rather. But I would love to know what other boxes of cards you guys would be interested in me trying to acquire. Uh, all cards are very hard to come by at the moment. Um, but if I know what to search for, it gives me, gives me something to look for over the next uh, few weeks. Troy Gloss, Angels, Chris Widger, Expos, Jason Ryan, Twins, David Bell, Mariners, Tony Clark, Tigers, uh, Eugene Kingsale for the Orioles. Don't know anything about him. Mitch Molusky, Astros, two in a row I've never even heard of. Joe McEwing, Cardinals. And stuck to him is a Mets stat leader, Piazza and Henderson. Maglia Ordonez, I feel like we just saw that one. Al Martin. There's our Griffey, Big Mac, Dodger card. All right, one more. One more of this, and we'll get to the actual boxes. The one saving grace is the group break host of this set. Besides, you know, obviously I won. It is the backs. Very easy, big team logo. So they're actually pretty easy to sort. I just have to keep flipping them upside down. Roger Clemens, Yankees. Carlos Delgado, Blue Jays. Roy Holiday again, Blue Jays, Jerry Harrison Jr., Orioles, Eric Milton, Twins, Tim Salmon, Angels, Jose Lima, Astros, Alex Ochoa, Brewers, stat leader for the Phillies, Bobby Obreu and Kurt Schilling, Jeff Cirillo, Rockies, big play of Manny Ramirez for the Indians, Har Griffey, Art Backhart, and a Ty Cobb jersey card. All right, so there you have that. Now let me get some of these out of the way. So I see a request for 2009 Upper Deck Series 1. All 
actually going to write down these requests as they come in. So give me something to, to look for. Uh, I like the idea of 2009 Upper Deck because I like to have a couple of at least one or two boxes of you know, quote unquote base. Um, I would assume that that set is fairly well split across all of the teams. So that would certainly be something I can look for. And if it has the documentary cards in it, that probably would be of interest to a lot of team collectors. So I'll, I'll look. I'll see if I can. I don't have one on hand, but I can certainly see if I can uh, find one. So we're going to start with the opening day box because this is the one that has the most uh, cards in it. There is an outside chance in this box that we could get a um, autograph or relic. Uh, we probably won't. Being honest, there's your empty box. Uh, but there is a chance. Um, we will, however, <laughs> have a ton of packs to open. And each pack has seven cards. So you get a lot of cards in a box of opening day. And like everything else, they are fairly overpriced compared to probably what you get. But such is the life of a card collector in 2021, as I have found out. All right, here we go for the Rays. And again, these are such a pain to read. The names are just awful to try to read, especially quickly. But we'll, we'll do our best. Tyler Glasnow for the Rays. Mauricio Dubon, Giants. John Lester, Cubs. Danny Santana, Rangers. DJ LeMahieu, Yankees. George Springer, Astros. And one of the Reds, I believe three mascots, Rosie Red. There are um, a number of actually fairly nice inserts in this set, though. We'll, we'll see some of those, I'm sure. James Kar Karinchak, Indians. Justin Turner, Dodgers. I know I don't know that uh, Greg, a.k.a. Night Owl, is actually watching live. Maybe he is, not sure. Uh, but Greg manages to somehow watch these videos after the fact and keep track of which Dodgers I pull for him and which ones he still needs, which I just think is super impressive that he can even do that. Luis Patino for the Padres. Nick Senzel, Reds. He could be good if he could just stay healthy. Uh, Nick Madrigal, White Sox. Dalton Varsho, Diamondbacks. And a very nice legend of baseball, Craig Biggio. I do like these uh, legend baseball cards. Oh, I ever request the 09 Upper Deck Series 1. Any... Uh, for those that are in the room, any other box requests for me to look for? Marcel Zuna, Braves. Andres Jimenez, Mets. Patrick Corbin, Nats. Alberto Mondesi, Royals. Jose Barrios, Twins. Nick Solak, Rangers. And outstanding opening day, Yvonne Rodriguez. There's a Pudge. Pudge sighting. I don't know if Ben is in the room tonight. Next, uh, Mike Brousseau for the Rays, Buster Posey Giants, Anthony Rizzo Cubs, Debbie Garcia Yankees, there's a Jose Altuve for the Astros, Alex Verdugo Red Sox, and the Pirate Parrot, Pittsburgh. Welcome to those of you that are joining in. Start a little bit late tonight, but we're partway through the first, first real box of the night. This is uh, 2021 opening day. John Means, Orioles, Evan White, Mariners, Francisco Lindor, Indians, Nick Neidert, Marlins, JT Realmuto, Phillies, Matt Chapman, Athletics, and look at that gorgeous Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners. Of course, I'd rather he be pictured as a red there, but admittedly, I think he does look and probably belong in a retrospective set like this uh, in the Mariners blue and white. Uh, Corey Seager, Dodgers, Mike Soraka, Braves, Trevor Bauer, Reds, Yon Makanda, uh, White Sox, Caleb Smith, Diamondbacks. We've got a blue parallel of Adbert Azale. This is one of the blue opening day parallels. They're not numbered, but they're very nice looking and shiny, as you can see. The light catching that for Chicago. And we have an opening day card for the Rays. Opening day insert, I should say. Yeah, so for those that are jumping in now, um, I mentioned a, a few minutes ago uh, about Breakers Club number three, which I plan to start up in a few weeks, but I'm taking box requests. If you have 
ideas. I can't promise anything. I got to find boxes, but uh, I have one box written down here. Brandon Nimmo, Mets, Santiago Espinal, Blue Jays. Ryan Yarborough, Rays. Max Kepler, Twins. Chris Bubik, Royals. Ruffman Odor, Rangers. And a mascot of Screech for the Nationals. For the Dodgers, Max Muncy. For the Cubs, Adbert Azale, regular base card. Mitch, or sorry, Matt Olson, Athletics, Zach Greinke, Astros, Jesus or Jesus Aguilar. I'm not sure how he goes, pronounces his first name. For the Marlins, Rafael Devers, Red Sox, and a legend of baseball, Mike Schmidt, for the Phillies. Next pack, Cody Whitley. Man, I could not read that one to save my, myself for the Cardinals. Victor Robles, Nationals. Ryan Braun, Brewers. Bo Burrows, Tigers. Adrian Morjan, Morjan, Padres. There's a Shohei Otani. Very nice for the Angels. And for the Nationals, their opening day. What a kind of a strange, strange view. Little tiny player. A lot of green grass. Another Dodger. The guy with all the hair, Dustin May. Ian Anderson for the Braves. Joey Votto for the Reds. Boy, Votto's just tanked. Dane Dunning, White Sox. Miguel Sano, Twins. Bobby Dahlbeck for the Red Sox. And Mr. Met for the Mets. Go figure. Go figure that Mr. Met is a Met. All righty. Charlie Blackman, Rockies. There's a very nice Juan Soto. I like the framing on that card. Uh, for the Nats, uh, Randy Orozarena, Rays, Salvador Perez, Royals, Letty Tavares, Leody Tavares, Rangers, Glaber Torres, Yankees, and Greg Maddox, legend for the Braves. Uh, Brandon Crawford, Giants. You Darvish, Cubs. Ryan Mountcastle, Orioles. I drafted him on my fantasy teams, hoping that he was going to be uh, a diamond in the rough, and it turned out he was just rough. Jordan Alvarez, Astros. Miguel Rojas, Marlins. Zach Gallon, Diamondbacks. And a outstanding opening day insert of Mark McGuire for St. Louis. So we basically get an insert per pack. So it keeps it keeps it fresh, I guess. Um, D. Strange Gordon, Mariners, Daniel Johnson, Indians, Jock Peterson, Dodgers, Spencer Howard, Phillies, Mark Canha, Athletics, Aristi, Aristides Aquino for the Reds, and Bernie Brewer for the Brewers. Hey Ben, glad you were able to make it. Yes, I pulled a pudge. The streak is intact. Uh, Ronald Cunha Jr., Braves. David Dahl, Rockies. Jose Abreu, White Sox. Jorge Soler, Royals. Casey Mize, Tigers. Uh, uh, Drelton Simmons, Angels. And a legend of baseball, Reggie Jackson. Going to the Athletics. Almost halfway done. So many packs. My floor is already littered over here. They don't want to stay, excuse me, in the trash can. We've got a blue one in this pack. Bo Bichette, Toronto. Lorenzo Kane, Milwaukee. The LA Dodgers get Mitch White. Manny Machado, Padres. Yankees, Garrett Cole. We've got Tariq Skubal, blue parallel for the Tigers. And an opening day card for the Athletics. So it seems like if the pack has a blue parallel, you actually get the parallel plus an insert. This is, we're not even halfway through the box, and there's already been that many parallels and inserts. I probably won't do a post recap for this box unless we pull a hit, just because, um, I don't know, that's just so many cards. Javier Baez, Cubs, Pete Alonzo, Mets, Brandon... 
Bilek Astros, Josh Bell Pirates, Aaron Nola Phillies, Xander Bogarts Red Sox, and TC Bear. Twin City Bear, I suppose, for the Twins. So you really just go by TC Bear. Does not roll off the top. We've got for the Mariners, Justin Dunn, Shane Bieber, uh, Indians, Dodgers, Walker Bueller, James Caprilin, um, Athletics, Sonny Gray for the Reds, Lou Bob, White Sox, and Roger Clemens, Lewis Robert. Um, and the last of the first half, Dansby Swanson for Atlanta, David Peterson Mets, Trey Turner Nationals, Josh Donaldson Twins, Nick Heath Royals, Justin Upton Angels, and a Clayton Kershaw outstanding opening day. So there's the first half. Let me get the stack of base. That's the first, just half of it out of the way. And let's get to our second half. And then we'll be on to... Our final two boxes. Josh Hader, Brewers. Uh, Bruce Dar Gratterall for the Dodgers. Eloy Jimenez, White Sox. Uh, drafted him as well, and he got hurt, like, immediately. That didn't go well for me. Kenta Maeda, Twins. Edward Oliveres, Royals. Humberto Mieja, Diamondbacks. And a legend of baseball of Cal Ripken, Jr. Max Freed, Braves, Ahmed Rosario, Mets, Nate Pearson, Blue Jays, Chris Paddock, Padres, Albert Abreu, Yankees, Chris Sale, Red Sox, and Opening Day, Red Sox. I did a double take on that one name. So hard to read these quickly. Uh, we got blue in this pack. Brendan McKay, Rays, Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers, Jose Uquiti, Astros, Jesus Sanchez, or Jesus Sanchez, don't know, Marlins, Kettle Marte, Diamondbacks, and our blue is a Ray, Ryan Yarborough. I do like the blue parallels. Very shiny, very nice. And we have Paws for the Tigers. Not the most creative mascot nickname either uh kyle schwarber cubs yadi molina he just got hurt cardinals kyle seeger mariners bryce harper phillies mike clevinger padres nick castellanos the about the only red worth watching right now and ted williams for the red sox my red start off the year well they start off the year getting hammered by the cardinals but after the first game they played well for about two weeks gave us hope that maybe they wouldn't suck and then they went a full week without even winning a single game and now they suck tristan mckenzie indians tony gonzalin dodgers dylan cease white Sox, brady singer royals nelson cruz twins anthony rendon angels and bob feller cleveland outstanding opening day 1940 Uh, Wilson Contreras, Cubs, Nolan Arenado, Rockies, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Blue Jays, Corey Kluber, Rangers, Gary Sanchez, Yankees, Justin Verlander, Astros, and the Reds, not very creatively named mascot, Mr. Red. They have Mr. Red, Rosie, and Gapper. And Gapper's sort of their version of the Philly fanatic. Blake Snell, Rays, Joey Bart, Giants, Craig Kimbrell, Cubs with his arm hanging down. It's kind of a it's a good shot of him. Looks like a strange person while he pitches, but whatever. Starlin Marte, Marlins, Alec Baum, Phillies, J.D. Martinez, Red Sox, and a very nice legend of baseball, Ernie Banks. I think I've seen that photo before, but maybe not with the guy running in the background. So any other box requests? Any other things I should be looking for? Uh, I know I've had requests in the past for Pacific. I don't want to spoil any surprises that could be coming up. But Jack Flaherty, Cardinals. Louis Garcia, Nationals. Brandon Woodruff, Brewers. Marcus Semien, Athletics. Russell Gracias, Reds. Tim Anderson, White Sox. And Cardinals, opening day. Featuring the already mentioned...
Edwin Rios, Dodgers, Freddie Freeman, Braves, Jacob Junis, Royals, Isaac Parides, Tigers, Joey Gallo, Rangers, Joe Adele, Angels, and mascot for the athletics. And it's just called mascot. Surely that has a name. Yeah. What's the name of the uh, athletics mascot? It can't just be mascot, can it? I mean, I know the A's are a sorry franchise these days, but surely he has a name. David Peterson says the Blue Peril is an opening day edition. I think he has a print run of 2020. Okay, I know they're not numbered. Um, the gold, I mean, there's a number on the gold, but it's it's just the, the, the opening day for the team, if that makes sense. So let me grab the... One that's sort of on top here. So like this one, I guess, yeah, April 1st, 2021, that would have been the Rays opening day game date. But there is no serial numbering, at least on those. Stomper, Adam Kaninger coming through for me. Stomper. See, that's a good name. I don't why I wonder why they have to just put mascot. That's weird. Ryan Castellini, Rockies, Kevin Biggio, Blue Jays, Austin Meadows, Rays. John Carlos Stanton, Yankees, Alex Bregman, Astros, Eddie Alvarez, Marlins, and a legend of baseball of Babe Ruth. Definitely a legend. For the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger, Nico Horner, Cubs, Dil Dylan Carlson, Cardinals, Nico Goodman, Tigers, future star of Trent Grisham, Eduardo Rodriguez for the Red Sox, and an opening day for the Dodgers. Another blue parallel coming up. Looks like Carter Kaiboom, Nationals, Keston Heria. Boy, I drafted him too, and he's been awful for the Brewers this uh, season so far. Luis Castillo for the Reds, also been awful, but I didn't draft him, that guy. Cody Hewer, White Sox. Whit Merrifield Royals. We've got a Yasmani Grandal for the White Sox. I do like that card. I like the jersey. It's a good looking parallel for the White Sox. And Mr. Matt, I like the picture. He's got the giant Matt mask on. And I'll go down to commemorate, it's not the right word for the. A uh, year last year, but um, I don't know. Denote, I guess. Mookie Betts, Dodgers. Christian Packey, Braves. Austin Hayes, R Orioles. Byron Buxton, Twins. Anderson Tejada, Rangers. Albert Pujols, Angels. And a legend of baseball of Harmon Killebrew for the Twins. <clears throat> Jordan says maybe the term stomper is violent in some market and Tops is trying to be careful. I mean, you could be right, Jordan. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking um, last, uh, let me go through this pack first. Max Scherzer, Nationals. Christian Yelich, Braves. Chadwick Tromp, Giants. Brett Gardner, Yankees. Carlos Correa, Astros. Sixto Sanchez, Marlins. And... Outstanding opening day, Billy Williams for the Cubs. Uh, I did a big retrospective on Allen and Ginter cards, uh, mini inserts last, uh, I guess it was last summer on the blog, and I had a big vote I, for each year for the best one. And then I had a huge like March Madness bracket, basically, that people got to vote for, um, for the best Allen and Ginter mini set of all time. But I couldn't help but notice, like, they did a set, and I don't remember the year now, but they did a set, like, People of the Bible. I'm just not sure that they would do something like that anymore um, for the same same sort of reasons. Uh, Ian Happ, Cubs. Jacob DeGrom, Mets. Reese Hoskins, Phillies. Ramon Laureano, uh, Athletics. Tyler Stevenson, Reds. Andrew Benintendi, Red Sox. And Raymond, Raymond. The mascot for the race, Raymond. That's funny. I don't even think I have ever seen the Rays mascot before. Ben Morris drafted a bomb and he's bombing. Yeah, I don't want to talk about fantasy baseball. I'm in 
one league. I'm in two leagues. One's just a family league, and I don't. I even forget to log in at weeks at a time already, because they'll run ESPN, and I don't like their fantasy client. Um, but my other one is a as a league I do pay an entry fee for, and I've just been I've been terrible. I'm one and two, I think, but my team is just awful. Gavin Lux, Dodgers, Ozzy Albies, Braves, Trevor Story. He's the only one I have on my team that's any good. Uh, Yasmani Grandal. We already pulled the bait or the parallel. There's the base for the White Sox. Alex Gordon Royals, Tariq Skubal, Tigers, and George Brett, legend for the Royals. Two more packs, and then we have two more boxes. So our night is just beginning. Uh, Tiasca Hernandez, Blue Jays, Willie Ad Adames, I think, maybe, Rays. Kybert Ryu Ruiz, sorry, Dodgers, Fernando Tatis Jr., good one for the Padres, Aaron Judge, Yankees, Mike Trout, Angels, and opening day, Phillies. And our final pack. I've opened a number of opening day packs over the years. Not a lot. I don't usually collect this set, but for group breaks and stuff, such, still never pulled a pair or a uh, autograph or a relic out of this stuff. It's, they're very rare. Chris Bryant, Cubs, Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals, Steven Strasburg, Nationals, Christian Javier, Astros, Colin Moran, Pirates, Miguel Cabrera, Tigers, and the Swingin' Friar for the Padres. So there's your box of 2021 opening day. Like I said, show you quickly, huge stack of base cards. And... A pretty huge stack of inserts and parallels. So that's one box done. Let me try to smash down my trash there. Okay, let's do, I don't know, which one do we want to do next? Which one do we save for last? Um, this, the 2003 piece of the game promises two sequentially numbered memorabilia and one autograph game used and this one I don't actually think it was clear exactly what it promises so Dunruss is notoriously difficult to figure out so Adam Canninger pulled a David Wright auto and a D Gordon printing plate I will admit, uh, Adam, that is definitely impressive from the set. I have never pulled anything like that out of opening. But again, I've probably only opened two or three boxes of opening day, or two or three years worth of opening day. I opened two boxes this year for separate group breaks. I like them from group breaks, though, because most people only really care about their own team. I don't know that many people put together the opening day set, so... I'm sure somebody does, but all right. So we're going to start with a box of 2003 Dunruss Studio, and as Dunruss uh, would want to do, you get a checklist, and a bunch of packs. I'm going to show you the checklist here, but here's the empty box. Get this out here so I can put the cards in there. So the checklist basically looks like this. Um, You've got, obviously, your base set, which appears to be about 200 cards in size. And then you've got Big League Challenge, Enshrinement, Leather and Lumber, Spear of the Game, Studio Stars, Master Strokes, and Player Collection. Um, and I think it's the Player Collection that are the relics, but might be mistaken about that. So that's what you're looking for. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Dunner stuff. I always ignored when it came out in the 2000s. Um, I don't know why I ignored it, but I have found that they make for some really fun group break boxes because you truly don't know what you're going to get from literally from pack to pack. All right, so like I said, we start right off with a dual card of Dave Roberts and Sean Green, both for the Dodgers. At least it's the same team. So back the last few um, cards in the base set are, are like that. Michael Barrett, Expos. Jimmy Rollins, Phillies. And here's what your um, card backs look like. It looks like we got a hit off, right off the bat. We did. 
Jim Tome, authentic event worn batting practice jersey. And let's see if it has a team. Uh, enclosed piece of fabric cut from authentic batting practice jersey, personally worn by Jim Tome while participating in the big league home run challenge. The event is obtained in blah, blah, blah. This was in Las Vegas. Um, I'm going to have to, I think, reference the official checklist online to, to be positive about this team. So let me see if I, I didn't pull it up. Let me see if I can do that quick. Um, three studio. I forget when Tomei was actually traded. Jim Tomei. This is going to go to the Indians. So the Cleveland Indians. I just wanted to make sure so I didn't say something incorrect. Uh, Indians. I'm going to make a note of that right now. Yeah, it, it does have the date on it, but since the team wasn't listed directly on the card, I just wanted to be safe. I want anyone angry with me if I say the wrong thing. So I wrote Indian on the penny sleeve, and there we go. Don't worry, I didn't write it on the card. So there's our first relic. And Jim Tomey, good name. Good name to pull. We get a junk card here. Finishing off this pack, Mike Mussina for the Yankees. We have a Studio Star. I kind of like these. They're like credit card-esque acetate inserts. Austin Kearns for the Reds for this one. And Mark Mulder for the A's. Yeah, I knew Tommy was traded somewhere in that vicinity, but I'm going off of uh, trading card databases team checklist when in doubt. So I figure that's as good of a source as any. Gary Sheffield, Braves, Paul Duca, Dodgers. Here's a big league challenge. Troy Gloss. That would be, I'm pretty safe in saying the Angels. Dummy cards. Add card. Kevin Mench, Rangers. And... Well, behind the, him is Junior Spivey of the Diamondbacks, but these two are stuck together slightly, I'm trying to separate them carefully. Manny Ramirez, a pretty neat shot of Fenway behind him. I'm sure it's a, like a green screen effect. But oh, Jordan corrected, 2003 season. Okay. Well, then there's no question, at least, about what team he should belong to there since it was a 2002 event. Adrian Beltre, Dodgers. There's a Philly. Kevin Millwood, Phillies. Craig Biggio, Astros, with the train in the background. I've never been to um, Houston Stadium, but it looks nice on TV. We've got an enshrinement card, Brooks Robinson for the Orioles. That is serially numbered 668 out of 750 down there at the bottom. That's pretty nice. Uh, Juan Gonzalez, Rangers. And Brian Tallett, Indians. Sorry, Jordan. We don't have to know every date. I say that because I certainly don't know every date for things. Jose Castillo, Pirates. Austin Kearns. This was the, the era of Austin Kearns is going to be a star for the Reds. Let's put him in everything. And then it turned out, one, they traded him almost right away, and two, he was never a star. Uh, Al Leiter, Mets. It's a disappointing time to be a Reds fan. Jay Gibb Gibbons, Orioles. Troy Glaus, Angels. And Joe Kennedy for the Rays. Yep, yep. Tommy's going to the Indians, the, the relic. Just being clear about that for everybody watching. Boy, this, this pack does not want to 
separate. There we go. Jeepers. Ah, uh, Roger Cedeno, Mets. Richie Sexton, Brewers. Behind him, Tino Martinez as a Cardinal. Don't get a lot of those. Dummy add Jamie Moyer, the Ageless Wonder for the Mariners. Spirit of the game, Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. That is also serially numbered, 320 out of 1250. And Freddie Sanchez for Boston. Next pack, we have Shane Victorino, Padres. Ryan Klesko, Padres. So you, get, you do get the same background for the teams. This was back when their stadium was Qualcomm, which I actually was at Qualcomm Stadium when it was called that, I believe. I believe that was what it was called when I was there. We've got a studio proof. Josh Stewart, White Sox, numbered out of 100. 14 out of 100 for the White Sox. Studio proof. Unexpected surprise. Dummy. Add CC Sabathia. Josh Stewart. Base. Same pack. And Alex Rodriguez for Texas. Adam Kenanger, this was Moyer's only all-star. Is that true? He played like 400 years. I would have expected he would have been an all-star more than once. Hideki Matsui and Mike Mussina for the Yankees. Pretty nice looking card, honestly. Let's see what the back looks like there. Yvonne Rodriguez, there we go. Another pudge for the day for the Marlins. That's why you grab the Florida Marlins. Uh, ben. Corey Patterson for the Cubs. We have an autograph, an auto, a good autograph for the Indians. Victor Martinez, private signings. And it has like a private, there's a stamp there. I can make that out, but the card is actually stamped. And this is numbered out of 200, 141 out of 200. Victor Martinez for Cleveland. Cleveland, clean it up here. Marcus Scott. The Indians. That's a nice looking autograph. I like everything about that card. That is gorgeous. I'm going to sleeve that right away. Just to keep it nice. I've got an ad. And oh, we have another insert behind this. We've got one of those clear acetates. Another red. Adam Dunn. Which I'm pretty sure I own two or three of that card. And Bernie Williams for the Yankees. Yeah, the, the Indians are cleaning up this box, at least so far, although we're not even halfway through. Roy Oswald, Astros, Josh Beckett, Marlins, Brad Wilkerson, Expos. We've got another hit. This is Alex Rodriguez, Player Collection 2003 for the Rangers, and this is numbered 178 out of 300. You don't pull a lot of A-Rod relics. You don't see those a lot, I feel like. But there you go. For the Rangers. Ben Morris. Maybe not the Rodriguez you want, but hopefully still a nice one for your collection. Ben, I never hear you talk about A-Rod. What are your feelings on him? Since he was a Ranger for a while. Any Any thoughts on him? Yeah, there's still time for me to pull a punch, Jordan. Hideki Matsui for the Yankees. Uh, Joe Valentin, A's, and Garrett Anderson for the Angels. Yeah, I mean, an A-Rod relic, you, you can't go wrong with that. But I didn't know if you collected A-Rod specifically at all. Mark Pryor, Cubs. Jason Jennings, Rockies. I just stole them across someone on TCDB that listed A-Rod as their, one of their player collections, and I just feel like he's a guy that was very good, but you don't hear people like collecting him as much. Kerry Wood, same with Sammy Sosa, I'd say. Another guy that I don't know anyone that actually collects him directly. Jermaine Dye for the um, Athletics. We've got a Roger Clemens Spirit of the Game. 
This will be numbered, yep, 733 out of 1250. And a very nice Frank Thomas. I've said I actually have a side collection of Frank Thomas cards. Ben Morris will take his dating leftovers. Yeah, the guy. I don't know. He, he has his choice of who he wants, I guess. I think that's safe to say. Rich Aurelia, Giants. Juan Encarnacion, Marlins. We've got, I think, another hit in this pack, but let's try to get the second base card here. Hideo Nomo for the Dodgers. I don't know if Night Owl needs that one, but he has a lot of Nomo cards. For the Braves, we have a Dunruss Studio player collection. Wes Helms, numbered 236 out of 300. For the Atlanta Braves, Andy Schaefer going to you. Wes Helms. I do like the home plate cutout shape for the um, relic bit. Get that sleeved. Very nice. Another ad card. Nomar for the Red Sox. Lou Ford Twins. And Brandon Clausen for the Yankees. All right. I'm going to move the first half of the base cards out of the way. And now let's get to the second half. So we've already found, just to quickly summarize, we have the Jim Tomei relic we found. We just opened the West Helms relic, the A-Rod relic, and the Victor Martinez autograph. So even if we don't get a single hit in the second half, we can't complain about this box. I have only been to Boston one time in my life. Um, it was a couple of years ago. I was, uh, I, well, pre-COVID times, I teach a course called the History of Math at the college where I work. And part of that class is a trip to Italy and Greece. So uh, one year I partnered with EF Tours and their headquarters is in Boston. And they had me uh, basically drive up there. I live in Pennsylvania, so it was a choice between driving or flying, but the closest air, anyways, I drove. Um, so I've driven in Boston once, um, kind of a nightmare of a city to drive around when you don't know where you're going. I did find that to be true. Um, and I drove, I saw the, the, the upper part of Fenway, um, but that was as close as I got. And I was there in, in February, so there were no games being played. Um, but that's my, that's my Boston story. I was only there once. I did like the city the little bit I was around it. We did like a river cruise that was kind of neat, although freezing cold because it was February. Jeff Baker, Rockies. Pat Burrow. Phillies. We have a Master Strokes Maglia Ordonez. This is numbered 632 out of 1,000 for the White Sox. Very nice. Junk, junk. Player Collection Relic of Barry Larkin. Yeah, for three bucks, I'd, I'd buy that too, Jordan. I'd probably even pay, uh, I'd probably even pay five bucks for it, honestly. Ellis Burks, Indians. I don't know if I have that card. I would have to um I would have to look. Jose Contreras Yankees and Mike Sweeney Royals. Yeah, they do love their Dunkin' up at up in the uh, northeast. I mean, I have I have Dunkin' Donuts where I live. I, are Dunkin' Donuts a national chain? I don't actually are they everywhere? Or, I mean, I know they're like more northeast, but have they expanded everywhere? I'm not sure. Uh, Yankee dual car, Pettit and Wells. Cliff Floyd for the Mets. And some of these cards really just don't want to separate for me. I'm trying to be very careful on how I do this. There we go. It's a red at least. Sean Casey for the Reds. We've got a... Sean Green. Sean Green. Dunner Studio. Uh, big League Challenge. Let me see here. Sean Green is a... Mm, okay, so he has two different cards in this set, uh, but he's a Dodger. He's listed as a Dodger for both. So for the Dodgers, Sean Green. Yeah, I have a Dunkin' Donuts in my uh, in my town where I live. I, I live in 
sort of basically I'm I'm in north central PA, about 15 miles or so from the New York border, so very north Pennsylvania, um, and we have a Duncan in town. I know they're all over uh, around me. Steve Sparks for the Tigers, kind of a weird pose. Always trying to do there for the Astros. Lance Berkman, studio star. Oops, I put my hit in the wrong pile here. And our last base is Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. Yep, that one went to the Dodgers. Next pack. I'm telling you, Dunruss is just fun around this area. Lots of relics and, and autographs and all kinds of cool stuff. And I like this set. I like the base set myself. It's not very big, but Dunruss Studio is, is a solid, solid set. Uh, very colorful this year, too, which I prefer. Jeff Kent, Astros. Prentice Redmond for the Mets. A few guys I've never heard of, but mostly it's the stars of the day, I would say. Scott Rowland. Cardinals, add card, Jock Jones, Twins, Jeremy Guthrie, Indians, and Brett Boone for the Mariners. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, so I can't I can't confirm. Adam Canninger says there are a few Duncans in Colorado. Okay, so they have spread all over. That's a battle in my town. Well, I live in a little little town, but uh, the battle I think is between. Um, Duncan and Sheets, which is our, our gas station chain. So we've got Rivera and Contreras. I will say that corner is a little bit dinged. That was not my doing. Just wanted to mention the this pack is that way a little bit. Javier Vasquez, Expos. Brian Lawrence, Padres. And we've got something attached to Mr. Lawrence here. Carefully peel off another relic. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds event used base. Not something you see all the time. David Peterson says a wah wah greater than sheets. Oh, agree to disagree, David. <laughs> uh, Barry Bonds. I'm a big fan of Sheets, honestly, except I will say this. Uh, Sheets breakfast is complete trash. Um, every time I get Sheets breakfast, I drive an hour to work every day and then another hour home. Um, and every now and then I'm like, I'll get something for breakfast. Let me stop at Sheets because I literally pass one when I'm leaving my town to leave to get on the highway. And every time I've gotten a Sheets breakfast, I think I've gotten sick. So uh, do not recommend Sheets breakfast. But everything else I've I've pretty much enjoyed. Tony Bartista, Orioles, Jason Giambi, Studio Star Yankee, and Johnny Damon, Red Sox. I honestly, I've only been to Wawa like once or twice. The, the Wawas are more like southern, um, and I guess eastern Pennsylvania, I think, more so than, uh, I don't know, the, I'm not even sure where the closest Wawa to me is. It's There's not one anywhere near me. Uh, but there's sheets everywhere near me. Ben, speaking of sheets, look at that. Spelled differently, but Ben Sheets for the Brewers. Couldn't plan that any better, right? Brian Giles, Pirates. I think we have another hit in this pack. But before we get there, Joe Randa. Oh, no, there's Studio Proof. Out of 100 for the Royals. And our next hit is a Vlad Guerrero. Game worn jersey for the Expos. That's pretty nice. That's going to Daniel. Very nice. Vlad Guerrero. I'll put that in his sleeve in a second. Carlos Delgado. Blue Jays. Hank Blaylock Rangers. And Aubrey Huff Rays. So we are getting a lot of hits out of this box. I had no idea how many to expect. I couldn't figure it out how they were uh, seated because Dunruss is impossible to figure out what to actually expect out of the box of their stuff. All right, Todd Helton, Rockies. Albert Pujols, Cardinals. 
Pujols had to be coerced into that. That's just strange. Bobby Abreu, Phillies. JC Romero, Twins. Tim Salmon, Angels. And Josh Phelps, Blue Jays. Yeah, we can't complain about this box. That's for sure. Which was part of the reason why I was hoping for something like this, and I wanted to save it till the end. I like to make the last night as exciting as I can. Mark Kotze, Padres. Sammy Sosa, Cubs. Of course, reading like a thousand opening day names may not have been the most exciting, riveting uh, television, but hey. Uh, Kazuhisa Ishii for the Dodgers. Rodrigo Lopez, Orioles. We have a spear of the game, Scott Rowland for the Cardinals. Number 711 out of 1250. Rowland, Hall of Famer, yes or no? What do we think? And Travis Chapman for the Tigers. Uh, A-Rod and Juan Gonzalez, dual for the Rangers with the uh, steer heads in the background. John Smoltz, Braves. We have another hit in this pack, believe it or not. Before we get there, we have Andrew Jones for the Braves, and our next hit is Maglio Ordonez. Nice red jersey there. I want to say Chicago, but I'm going to make sure before I officially know. Yes, Chicago White Sox. Just making sure. I do like the, the bright red there. Clearly part of that jersey. So that's cool. Going to the White Sox. White Sox, Matt Stevens. Going to you, my friend. We'll sleeve Maglio. And the rest of this pack, Kazuhisi Sasaka, Sasaki, uh, Mark Pryor, Acetate, and... Levy's Hernandez for the Royals. All right, two packs left. Andrew Schaefer says Hall is very good for Roland. Ben Morris says he'd get his book. I think that I think that Roland is definitely Hall of Very Good, possibly a Hall of Famer. I would personally vote for him in the Hall of Fame. But I can understand why people wouldn't. Roberto Alomar. I think he gets in because his character, as far as I know, is never in question. And, you know, that means something to me. I know it doesn't mean anything officially to the Hall of Fame. Um, but to me, it does. So I would I would give him the nod. Bill Hall, Brewers. Jason Lane, Astros. Roy Holiday, Blue Jays. Freddie Garcia, Mariners. And Pete LaForest for the Rays. Let's try one last pack. I will say that Roland made an error when the Reds finally made the uh, playoffs. They lost that game and they've never never recovered. But uh, I would still give my vote. Jeff Bagwell, Astros. Oliver Perez, Padres. And stuck on the back of that, Mike Piazza, Mets. We have an enshrinement, Pee Wee Reese for the Brooklyn Dodgers. That'll go in the LA Dodgers pile. 628 out of 750 there. Paul Konerko for the White Sox. And our final card is David Eckstein for the Angels. So this box was magnificent. Uh, you can't complain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits we pulled. Eight. Magli Ordonez. Vlad Guerrero, senior. Uh, Barry Bonds, very nice. Sean Green, a gorgeous Victor Martinez autograph. That was just sharp. Uh, Alex Rodriguez, Wes Helms, and Jim Tomei. So that's what? Three guys in the 500-plus home run club? Am I right about that? Bonds, yes. Tomei, I think, made 500. And A-Rod, I think, had over 500, right? So that was uh, that was fun. And then we had a slew of inserts. A bunch of those are serially numbered as well. So, I mean, this box was just loaded. Absolutely loaded. I can't 
can't think of a better way to end a, a, a breakers club than that box, except, except we still have another box. So we can't end yet. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Now the piece of the game box has some pretty pretty big shoes to fill, if we're being honest. Uh, if it's going to try to try to beat that one. So we like the, the Dunra Studio. I have a vote for get another. All right, I got two votes for get another. Let's see. what That was 2003. I mean, I don't know if eight hits in a box is normal, um, but, yeah, that was fun. Certainly fun. And I love to get lots of hits and relics for people. There's a Pudge Bat relic that Ben wants. I don't know if there's any Larkin cards and any Larkin hits in that set or not. I feel like that set has like Adam Dunn stuff out the wazoo. Which I won't complain if I get, but it wouldn't be a priority for myself. All right, so our final, final box for the Breakers Club number two. I want to, uh, before I open this up, I do want to just thank all of you, both the, those of you that hang out each night um, with me every Tuesday night. I certainly appreciate that. Talking to myself would be very boring. Um, but I also just appreciate all of you guys that joined in. I appreciate those of you that um, watch these videos later because the typical start time is not maybe conducive or, or useful for everybody. Um, I just want to thank all of you. So... Thank you, and we're going to rip this box, and then I will give you another sneak preview for the next Breakers Club, uh, which, like I said, will be announced soon. So I have never opened a box of this stuff. That I know for sure, and here's what it looks like. So we've got, I don't even know, Loyola well, we Checklist. That I do know, and it's very fancy looking, and it apparently is never ending. So that's the checklist, which I may need to reference at some point, but we'll leave that alone. And we've got uh, six packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six packs. They're all in sort of a, well, that one's open, but the rest are glued down um, cardboard. And then we also have whatever the heck this is, which I don't know what that is. Uh, every pack is supposed to have a game use card, so we should get um, six hits out of this, one per pack, and then whatever the box topper thing is. So shall we start with this? Let's start with this. David Pearson says there is a Larkin memorabilia and a Larkin auto. Number out of 15 in the O3 studio. All right. Well, you guys have convinced me. Well, whatever this is, we've got a game worn jersey of a Brave. Is that Andrew Jones? It is Andrew Jones. So we've got a Atlanta Braves, Andrew Jones, game worn jersey. I like that uh, playoff make some of the best relics uh, at this era because they show you exactly, supposedly, the um, piece of, of, of relic material, whether it's pants or, or uh, a base or, in this case, a jersey um, that they cut up. And you will, if you can see that, I don't know how well it's going to come through the camera there, but uh, this looks like it was an Andrew Jones jersey that was actually signed um, by him. So somewhere there's probably some pieces with actual bits of autograph on it, but there's your Andrew Jones, I guess, box topper, we'll call it. So we should end up, I guess, with seven hits total since we got a free one. All right, let's start with the pack. One of these was like, yeah, one of these was, I thought, sort of unglued. This one. We'll start, we'll start with the one that was kind of already open. So here's what it looks like on the inside. And we have, oh, they're in, they're in cellophane. I don't even have to open them up. I can leave them nice and protected for people. We have a J.C. Romero for the Twins autograph and game-worn jersey. And that's coming from his jersey. 
I think I'll leave these right in the plastic wrap for people. I don't see any reason that I need to open that. JC Romero. It won't scan as well, but there we go. Uh, the twins. Brian O'Neill has the twins. So congrats, Brian, on the auto relic duel. So that's that's what you get in a pack. So wow, that the checklist for this set is gigantic considering we get one card in the pack. It feels fancy though, and I'm not used to opening fancy things. So our next one, <laughs> Adam Dunn for the Reds. So I get on the board here. Uh, game use bat. You can see that there's a bat and gloves pictured, but just a bat piece for the Reds. Next. We have Greg Maddox for the Braves. That's nice. Very nice. Greg Maddox for the Braves. I do like that card. And that's numbered 54 out of 75. I didn't actually notice. You know, the others weren't numbered. So this one is serially numbered there at the top. 54 out of 75. For the Braves. Andy Schaefer. Again, Braves hot box here. Yeah, six packs in cardboard, one in foil. I don't know what they're doing. I actually think that the, you know, I'm not like a huge sustainability nut or anything, but I do think that there's an awful lot of wasted packaging in sport cards. Um, and probably, I would assume, that cardboard packaging is better overall than... Um, all those foil wrappers. I mean, you should just see my trash can right now. Our next is another Indian autograph relic. Josh Bard for the Indians. Marcus Scott cleaning house tonight. Another Cleveland Indian hit. Josh Bard. Two more. We have... Oh, this is beautiful. A prime game-worn jersey. Greg Maddox again. So it's a bummer we pulled the same player twice. But look at that prime patch. And that is numbered out of only 25. That appears to be... Hmm. I don't know where that is on the jersey. I guess it's his number, so it must be maybe the corner of the one, one of those corners maybe, or the corners of the three. But that's a gorgeous, gorgeous Maddox. Look at that. Again, I'm not going to take any of these out of the, the cellophane wrapper since we can see the front and back. But numbered out of 25. So two, two Greg Maddox cards, this one being a... Some sort of parallel out of 75. Silver parallel, maybe. All right. One more one more pack for the uh, second ever Breakers Club. Good luck, everybody. Our final hit is another beauty. Ricky Henderson for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, Oakland, Oakland. Mitch Anglin has Oakland. Uh, Mitch, I think, was hesitant to join again. Not that he didn't have a good time the first time, but, you know, Breakers Club isn't uh, super, super cheap. I can admit that. Uh, but hopefully, uh, hopefully, Mitch, that made your decision uh, worthwhile for you. I don't remember what else the Athletics have in this break, but you pull a Ricky Henderson jersey, you can't be mad, right? So there we go. Some really nice, really nice. I like this. I I don't know. I, I do like that. Uh, the box is, if I remember right, though, the box is very pricey. So that's the uh, downside to that. Everything is pricey right now. I don't know if I have it. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I know it was well, well over $100, maybe even $200. I don't remember now. But let's quickly recap. 
we had the Greg Maddox numbered out of 75. Then we had the, the big hit of the box, arguably, was the Greg Maddox numbered out of 25 with the prime patch. Our box topper, as it was, was an Andrew Jones. This one was in the foil, so I did penny sleeve that. Ricky Henderson, another huge hit. Josh Bard, auto relic. Adam Dunn relic. And JC Romero, auto relic. So you are promised to... Um, auto relics in a box, and I think it promised one autograph, so we beat the uh, odds on both counts. And that, my friends, is Breakers Club number two. So I want to thank all of you one more time. Um, I'm going to give you a preview of Breakers Club number three. Again, I don't have a sign-up post ready to go. Pricing, I'm hoping, will be basically in the same ballpark as last time. But I did want to preview some of the boxes. So I did show off some of these uh, last week, I think uh, I did that. But for those that weren't, didn't see or maybe missed out, uh, this these are all guaranteed for the next Breakers Club. So 2000 Ultimate Victory. A lot fewer cards in the box, don't worry. But those are a thicker card stock. Um, I had requests for another box of the 1998 Pacific Online because this is a huge set. And there's uh, parallels of every single card. You get one parallel per pack. So uh, even though if you were in the, I guess I did this, I think in the first Breakers Club, um, good chance you're going to end up with a completely different group of cards there. And then we have uh, another fun relic company um, at the turn of the, the century or the millennium. Uh, Leaf in the early 2000s relics are, are usually really nice. So this is Leaf Certified 2002. Um, promises, excuse me, um, five cards per pack, 16 packs per box. And I forget how many it promises, but it, it does promise a bunch of relics, or at least a couple, I think. So anyways, that's that. And then the last one that I already announced is this box of 2004 Dunras Classics. Um, where each of these little mini boxes is supposed to have a autograph and uh, two game-used memorabilia cards, if I understand the packaging correctly. So those are the boxes I've promised. Next, I have added or received um, a couple more boxes, but I wanted to show off one more. One more that I'm going to guarantee in the breakers. Actually, no. I'm going to show off two more. Well, I'm going to tell you two more. The first, I don't actually have in hand yet, uh, but that's going to be a box of 2021 Gypsy Queen. So I have ordered that, and it should be here uh, shortly. I believe Gypsy Queen releases maybe even tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. It's sometime really soon, I think. So I did order that. I don't have that in hand yet, but that should be coming. Um, and then one that I do have in hand that I'm very excited about, and I hope you are too, is a box of 1999 Pacific Invincible. This is a uh, retail, and Pacific had different parallels in uh, retail versus um, hobby, so you actually want to track down both types of boxes. Um, I believe the Platinum Blue, if I'm not mistaken, are retail only. Um, but these have little acetate cutouts in the cards um, for the players, and I just think they're super sharp looking. So this will be included in the next Breakers Club as well. So we've got two Pacific boxes uh, already there, and I've got some other boxes. I have two other boxes uh, sitting here right next to me that are ready to go for Breakers Club. I will add those in as we sell enough teams. So this will be... Uh, uh, again, I hope a really fun break, a nice variety of stuff. Uh, I've got a couple boxes of 2021 product that will be part of this that have been pre-ordered that are not here yet. Um, so yeah, that will be Breakers Club number three. Um, there will be more, hopefully. If I can sell more slots, I'll keep adding boxes. But that's certainly a good start, hopefully enough to get people to jump in uh, early and often because, like I said, the more slots I sell, the more boxes I go out and buy for everybody. I did start a list. If you have other ideas of boxes you'd like me to look for, I know a bunch of people have requested Pacific, so I uh, purposely was able to look for that and grab not one but two different Pacific boxes. Um, this is really hard to find, actually. Um, I really 
really struggled to even find a box of Invincible, but I knew I wanted that. It was just a set that I wanted to um, include in the in the break because I just think they're sharp cards. So you'll see when we open them, but they're pretty cool um, if you haven't if you haven't seen those before. So with that said, that will do it for tonight. Thank you one and all for hanging out with me one last time. You guys are great. Um, it's going to take me a few days to get things uh, all sorted. I've got all the boxes tonight to do. Um, and I'm in the last week of the semester. So if you want your card shipped, that's cool. You can send me an email. I'm going to be honest. I probably won't have stuff sorted until after the semester is over. So you're going to have to give me a couple weeks. Um, if it's super imperative, I can try to, to be faster. But um, otherwise, uh, I'm happy to hold on to the cards. If you want to join another break, save on shipping. Um, you certainly, the, the most cost effective shipping is actually doing the um, priority mail uh, shipping because baseball cards weigh a lot. So I don't mind if you wait until you have like a full box worth of cards. That's cool too. So whatever you want, it's perfectly fine. Um, I'll just give you a shipping quote whenever you request. But otherwise, have a lovely evening. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you for Breakers Club 3. That's all for tonight. Bye, guys.